Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem from chapter 13. In this problem, it is said that if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the 50 kg crate and the ground is 0.3, determine the distance the crate travels and its velocity when t is equal to 3 seconds. The crate starts from rest and p is equal to 200 Newton. Right, so now since the applied force is acting towards the right so what will happen is that the friction force will be acting in the opposite direction so let's say that this is the friction force and the friction force magnitude will be equal to mu k times the normal force and the normal force will be applied by the surface in this direction and let's say this is that normal force and the weight of the crate will be acting vertically downward like this right and this weight will be equal to 50 times 9.81 so 50 times 9.81 gives us 490.5 and if we resolve this p force into its components so it will have two components this one will be the cost component if this is 200 this is given so then this will be 200 cos of 30 degrees and there will be one another component this one will be the sine component this one will be 200 sine of 30 degrees and if this is our positive x and y coordinates this is positive x this is positive y now if we apply the kinetics equation right if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y but as we can see that the crate is only moving in the horizontal direction it is not moving in the vertical direction so this means that a y is equal to zero right so then we can write this equation as summation of forces along y equals to zero so now as we can see that this n is acting in the positive y direction so i will write n the this sine component is acting in the positive y direction so i have to write plus 200 sine of 30 degrees and this weight is acting in the negative y direction so I have to subtract it so this will be minus 490.5 and this will be equal to 0 right so we can calculate this n this is 200 sine of 30 minus 490.5 so this gives me uh, n minus 390.5 and this is equal to 0 and if we bring this to the other side of the equation so n will be equal to 390.5 newtons now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x right so as we can see that this cost component is acting in the positive x direction so i have to write plus 200 cos of 30 degrees minus this friction force which is mu k and mu k is 0.3 and this n is 390.5 newtons so we need to write it as minus 0 0.3 into 390.5 and this will be equal to the mass of the crate so the mass of the crate is uh, 50 a x right so from this equation we will get the acceleration of the crate right so this will be if i divide both side of equation by 50 so we will get the acceleration of the crate right so this will be 200 cos of 30 minus 0 0.3 into 390.5 divided by 50 so this gives us a x equals to 1.121 1.121 meter per second square and now we are required to determine the distance and the velocity after three seconds of the crate right so now i can write that dv x by dt equals to 1.121 and if you multiply both side by dt so we will have the equation like this and if we integrate this 
So, the crate starts from rest right. So, the initial velocity is 0. So, we need to integrate this from 0 to some velocity v x right. So, this will be v x and when we integrate this from 0 to t. So, this will be 1.1 to 1 t and if I put t equals to 3 seconds. So, we will get the velocity uh, in the x direction in the positive x direction and that will be 1.1 to 1 into 3 since we are required to find the velocity of the crate after 3 seconds right. So, 1.121 into 3 gives us 3.363. So, 3.363 meter per second and similarly if I write this uh, velocity in terms of the position. So, we can write that this is ds by dt and this is 1.1 to 1 t and if we multiply both side by dt. So, we will have the equation like this we can integrate this right and let us say that the uh, initially the crate position is 0. So, we have to integrate this from 0 to s and this is from 0 to t. So, this is s and this is 1.1 to 1 t square divided by 2. So, if we put 3 t equals to 3 in this equation. So, we will get the position after 3 seconds right. So, this is 1.121 into 3 square divided by 2. So, that is 5.04. So, we can add it is 5.045 meters approximately right. So, after 3 seconds the velocity of the crate towards the right is 3.363 meter per second and the crate has traveled a distance of 5.045 meters. Now, let us continue with uh, this one another problem. In this problem it is said that if the 50 kg crate starts from rest and achieves a velocity of this right. So, the initial velocity is 0. So, from rest it starts and it achieves the velocity of 4 meter per second. So, the initial velocity is 0 and the final velocity is 4 meter per second and it travels a distance of 5 meters to the right. It is said that determine the magnitude of force P acting on the crate. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the ground is 0 0.3 right. So, to find that force P we need to find the acceleration of this crate and we are given the information uh, which are required for the kinematics equation right. So, now if we write the kinematic equation. So, we can write that v square will be equal to v naught square plus 2 a s minus s naught right. The acceleration is constant right. So, the initial velocity is 0 and the initial distance is 0 and the final distance is 5 right. So, now we can write that v square will be equal to and initial velocity uh, final velocity is known as well right. So, we can say that this is 4 square this is 2 acceleration and the final position is 5 right. So, this will be acceleration will be equal to 4 square divided by 10 this is uh, 4 square divided by 10 and this is 16 divided by 10. So, acceleration is 1.6 meter per second square right. So, this is the acceleration and now if I resolve this force P into its component. So, it will have one component this one will be the cos component this will be P cos of 30 and there will be one another component this one will be the sine component and the weight of the crate will be acting vertically downward which is 50 times uh, 9.81 right. So, this is 490.5 and the normal force will be acting like this. The surface will apply the normal force and that normal force is n and if if the crate is moving towards the right the friction force will be acting towards the left which will be equal to mu k times n and if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y. So, as we can see if this is our positive x and y direction then n is acting in the positive y direction. So, I have to write n the weight is acting in the negative y direction. So, I have to write minus 490.5 
and this component of p the sine component of p is acting in the positive y direction so i have to write plus this is p sine of 30 degrees and this will be equal to the mass of the crate which is 50 but as we know that the crate is only moving in the horizontal direction towards the right so this means that the acceleration in the y direction is zero so this will become zero so now uh, from this we can write that n plus p sine of 30 equals to 490.5 or we can say that the normal force is equal to 490.5 minus sine of 30 sine of 30 is 0.5 right so we can say if if we bring this to the other side so this will become 0.5 p let's say this is equation 1 now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x right so this cost component is acting in the positive x direction so i have to write plus p cos of 30 degrees minus this mu k n mu k is uh, 0.3 which is given this is 0 0.3 and this is n this is 490.5 5 minus 0 0.5 p and this will be equal to the mass of the crate which is 50 and a x right so this is a x since the crate is moving in the positive x direction so a x is 1.6 let me write it like this this is p cos of 30 minus 0 0.3 into 490.5 0 0.3 into 490.5 gives me 147.15 147.15 and this will become minus into minus plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 p and this is equal to 50 into 1.6 so this is 80 right and now if i take p common from both of these terms right so this will be p cos of 30 plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 and if I bring this to the other side of equation so this will be 80 plus 147.15 so let's simplify it cos of 30 plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 this gives us 1.016 1.016 p equals to 80 plus 147.15 227.15 and if i divide it by 1.016 so we will get that p so this answer divided by 1.016 so p force is 223.57 newtons so this is that uh, p force which is equal to 223.57 newton this much force is required to accelerate this crate towards the right with uh, an acceleration of 1.6 meter per second square so this this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood uh, the solution of this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet also like these videos if you people think that it helps in your learning